What a joy it is to be back here for day three of the Mario Kart mail-in tournament. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan and we got number 17 through, I believe that was 23 up there today. That'd be the math, right? 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 24. So probably through 24 because we got eight going on. Man, math. Um, actually, math is supposed to be my thing, but I, I uh, struggle with the simple addition sometimes. So, what four we got first? We got Erica Pat Petiteri out there. Pateri? Petiteri? Erica, the Harsh family, Sam Hall, and QT Racing to start us off. And we'll take a look at the cars we got here. You see Yoshi in a Mach 8. We've already seen one of those in the competition. And we'll probably see a few more. And uh, right now, really breakneck speeds right now coming down towards that hairpin. This could be a record-breaking time here. Wow, swings around with masterful speed. The camera almost can't keep up. And what's the number? Ooh, 20.4. Not bad. We have Mario in a pipe frame. Donkey Kong in a standard cart, which I have advised against multiple times. And uh, something I shouldn't even have to advise against any use of the sneaker. Though I do like the paint job on the sneaker and the use of Black Toad. I think that's at least a saving grace. We might be might be fun to do a video at some point if we ever do another Mario Kart mail in to talk about what I think the <laughs> the best models are. So um, I think people just want to put the models out that look the coolest to them. Not everybody is as concerned with the fastness of them, the speed. But it's something always fun to analyze. So, our two uh, strongest looking models right now got to be Mario in the pipe frame, who's struggling out of the turn this time. And definitely that Yoshi in the Mach 8, who's absolutely destroying and could be threatening a early partial sweep. And of course, something of an uh, individual sweep, which we haven't seen anything near so far. Here comes Yoshi. Inside line. And he's going to look towards... The finish line here in this wide section just nobody near him right now and he swings around not as fast this time down towards the finish camera keeping up just fine and he's gonna lot himself at 20 points up sneaker comes through in third and we have way behind there donkey kong in the standard card i think's gonna dnf here unless he gets over that final hump yeah it's a dnf There he stands, standard cart and all. It's a wonder how much differently a car like that, a character like that performs if you just uh, shove him in a sports coupe. It really shoving is the word. He <laughs> looks like he barely fits when he's in the sports coupe, but he's so fast. Thank you again to Slam Man Customs for this uh, end gate and starting line down to four decimal places with the time. It looks sleek, it looks cool, it's a wonderful end gate, finished gate, whatever you want to call it. And don't forget to check them out. Links in the description for everything as far as seeing their social medias and buying their products, which we do endorse here and make them fun as wonderful products. Yoshi in the Mach 8, fireside, stretching out a big lead. Here comes the pipe frame trying to put a challenge maybe finally on. I thought he might be a little speedier, Mario, there, but just hasn't been able to hold on to anything but uh, second place, which he has too. Here comes the pipe frame. Yoshi slowing down here, and he has the outside line coming up here, swings around. There is a chance for a battle. Here comes the pipe frame. Down one length, converging into the wide space. Here's the turn, pipe frame right on the tail, and a little bit of drafting, and finally a line by Yoshi cuts him off there's a space but no speed 21.6 so a slower race but a more exciting one Donkey Kong will finish that time and you saw there was the gaps there a lot of swerving I wouldn't even say swerving because that gives a negative connotation more movement just a swagging even between those two vehicles one trying to stay in first one trying to find a space to, to dive through again Mario in the pipe frame could not work through that and we have a partial sweep opportunity here I do not remember if we had a partial sweep in the last video I am blanking on that I think it was uh, car was close and either did get it or uh, came one short so 
Um, I think, yeah, if I remember correctly, he came up one short, but I could be wrong there. Here comes the pipe frame, working on the, stopping that partial sweep, but Yoshi has such a big lead right now, and the pipe frame has to go for a further outside line as we cross into the final turn. Yes, here comes the final sector of Fat Track. Mach 8, way ahead. Here comes the sneaker as well. Looks like Toad is back in the game, at least to grab second place, but it's going to make no difference, I think, points-wise. I think Mario's already got second. Mach 8, going to cross. 20.9, he's been down in the 20s all day, and pipe frame, not even third, I mean second. It's so tempting to say third for second, because second gets three points, so I see the three go up there, and I just think three, 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 third. I don't even know how you stop there, by the way, Donkey Kong. How do you stop on a hill? How do you stop when the, the it's, it, that's like a 10 degree angle downwards. How do you possibly stop there? That's hard to do. 20 points for the Yoshi. Heat one. And this is the second group here. And I'll call them out here. We got MQH Racing with a Shy Guy B Dasher. We have Gushi with Yoshi in a pipe frame painted nicely. We have Mr. Dark with Yoshi in a standard card. And we have Bubbles Marie with a Shy Guy in a pipe frame. Now that's an interesting one. And a fast one right now. I've never seen Shy Guy race in a pipe frame in Mario uh, so far. In these Mario tournaments we've done. And right now it seems to be an interestingly useful combination. We have the pipe frame and he's using a Luigi model at that. Breaking away from the pack. Yoshi may be in the vicinity. Other Yoshi... Well, well, dropping back even further. And oh, he, oh, he loses control. Here comes Yoshi in the pipe frame around the outside. He's got room to run, and he's going to start with five. Sing the praises of a car and watch it fall. Five points for Gucci. And Bubbles has got to... <laughs> it's fun to say that. Bubbles has got to be a little bit worried about that at this point. Bubbles Marie, it's just one thing. <laughs> Man, I, I, I'm kind of floored by that. That was, that was an incredible finish. I mean, there's absolutely dominating, runs off a little bit into the rail there, into the fat section, and this, the, this wraparound by Yoshi in the pipe frame, by Gushi there, incredible speed, picked up, and, and you might see that here, just the incredible speed he gets on the hairpin, he's outside, ah, he kind of uh, sideways oriented a little bit, and he's going to turn and cross backwards at 20.8, and the pipe frame's going to finish now in last, so a, a good start, and now I... Seemingly a bad response. But yeah, I gotta say, Yoshi there in the pipe frame, um, pretty fast in the bottom section. And now we're working on another partial sweep for the legs of Gushi. I want to keep my eye on Shy Guy there in the pipe frame. I feel like the most potential of the other two racers comes from Shy Guy racing in Luigi's model. And I just, I think it's there. We have to see speed come out of these turns. Here comes Shy Guy, ooh, trying to work himself into second place and hold it. Here comes the B-Dasher Shy Guy, tough to contend with, and starting to take over, and we'll have an inside line here. Yoshi on the innermost line is just breaking away from the crowd right here. Looks a little slow on that turn. How is he gonna take to this fat section? Bounces in, loses a little bit of speed, wraps around a little slower than usual, but fast down the back straight. He'll put up a good time, maybe in the 20s once again. 20.3. And the pipe frame, Shy Guy, not performing as well as I expected after that first uh, half of the first race. And if you remember correctly, I believe the best time we've seen on this course is 19.5. 19.5. So keep your eyes out. I My prediction was we will get as low as 18 by the end of this tournament. But I can't, of course, guarantee that. Let's send him out again. We have three fives on Gushi, a partial sweep opportunity. 
I mean, if I remember correctly, we haven't had one up until this point except for this video, last group, and here's another chance for one, and they will contend pretty strongly then in the final. Here comes Shy Guy in that pipe frame, Luigi model, pushing into first place by a nose, he will lose it to the turn, but he's gonna have an inside line to work with, he might overtake Yoshi here, B-Dasher also putting up some trouble, and inside, and they're neck and neck coming down the back straight into the fat section, it is the B-Dasher, knocks him away, pipe frame loses control, here we go wrapping around pipe frame's got speed here comes yoshi inside line outside line passes one and almost passes two drops back to third there goes the partial sweep and that might be enough for the b dasher shy guy to advantage he did the uh the cycle there one two three five yoshi won't finish and the time there is a little slower though in 21 7. That is enough for the Beat Asher to advance. Bubbles Marie started strong and oh, fell unfortunately, but again, all one of these teams has, um, every one of these teams has another car coming. So we have uh, our four in the finals. Remember the Mach 8 Yoshi, partial swept in his first group, so he's the only one with that possibility. Gushi almost did and lost out. Beat Asher and Pipe Frame Mario still uh, staying in it. I kind of think that Yoshis are going to battle here, but that B Dasher Shy Guy can be a dark horse. Here comes the Mach 8. Big lead, and then it's shortening. Rounding the turn, he's got the lead back, but it might shorten, especially here on the inside line. It's going to be a close one. Mach 8 has trouble as a longer car dealing with those corners, and you saw it slow down right there. Here comes the pipe frame. Gushi. Coming down towards the turn, he saw how fast he got through that hairpin. This is one of his faster times, but he loses it, he spins out of control. Here comes the Mach 8, but knocks him across, even with the spin at 20.9. He might have cut into the 19s if he had not lost control. And he spins and finds a lane to settle himself in and keep five. What a tough start. For Gushi. And that's it for the partial sweep. So I think we have zero partial sweeps, unless someone in the comments is gracious enough to remind me if it actually did happen in the last tournament. My, uh, I'm pretty, I'm 70% on no. So it should be none. Unfortunately for Mach 8, it's not really comparing well with this pipe frame, but has some outside lines to work with here and still is holding speed. Look at the breakaway down to that third straight. It's looking good. Here comes the Mach 8 around turn three and big lead. Now we're swapping here. B-Dasher also shoving his way in there. That inside line has been kind to him and he's going to uh, entangle with the Mach 8 here probably in the fat section, but he slows down. Here comes the turn. And he whips around. It's good. Mach 8 is straight. Oh, he starts to hit the sides. And he slows down. So time-wise, not the greatest. But uh, still a fast race. And Gushi's going to overtake the B-Dasher for three more points. And so he'll be, again, close on these Yoshis. Unfortunately for Mario in the pipe frame, just not really the speed that's necessary here. 5-3-3-5. I mean, Sam's got to be happy here. The Mach 8 is, is putting a wonderful showing on. It's still going to be tough to beat out Gushi, but a good choice with Yoshi in the Mach 8. And I feel like we've seen one of them before not perform as well, so maybe some good lubricant or, or just a well-made model, whatever it is. Mach 8 whipping out of that fourth uh, outer turn really nicely. Turn three, again, that outside line looking real good for the Mach 8. Maybe it's more trouble on the inside where he has to cut a sharper corner. You saw him slow down there. Here he goes towards the back stretch, and he'll run towards the hairpin. Big lead on him. Where's Gushi? Don't see him. Round that turn, and he starts to skid. He has room to run, though, and I wouldn't see any problems right now. Oh, Mario in the pipe frame is going to grab third. 21-3 is your time. I mean, second, sorry. Again, I did the three-point thing. Mach 8. And what happened to Gushi? We saw speeds, like, way under 21, and he's just not holding up right now. And we have 3-5-5-5-3-2. Gushi is a point behind, um, well, uh, many points behind Sam here. Let's look at those numbers. We have 13 points, we have 10 points, so Gushi is 3 behind. And so he's going to need to get first 
and keep somehow keep Sam Hall out of the top two spots, which it seems like a difficult situation. But Gushi breaking away in the second straight, looking good for him, rounding that turn. This is the chance for him to come back here, but needs a lucky situation between uh, Sam Hall and those back two racers. Mario in the pipe frame, rearing his head. Here comes the B-Dasher as well. Oh, Mario's got some speed with an inside line coming. It's building up for a maybe tie. Here comes Gushi down towards the fat section. Mario, big lead as well in second. Ripping around the hairpin, running towards the finish. Pipe frame Mario, if he holds on, it is a tie. Gushi will hold on for first. Pipe frame Mario will. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I say will, but I don't know. Pipe frame Mario turning around. Let's see the photo finish. Oh, I don't know. I can't even handle it. Tiebreaker, he did hold on. He did hold on. That was actually super close. That was too close. I guess the officials could see better than me. I was beside myself with how close that was. But rightfully so, 15-15, 1v1 in order. Gushi dropping behind early on. And oh, he's starting to accelerate here down into the third straight here. And remember how this works. You get two races, best time. Best time, because we have that timer down there. We want good times. The fastest car is going to get that seat out of the tiebreaker. So, we're looking for that. We're looking for numbers on the clock. Of course, wins means better numbers. Uh, so, we'll have to see. Ooh, Yoshi knocks off the wall there. Behind by a lot. Doesn't really have a good chance of catching up. Ooh, some acceleration maybe, but not nearly enough. And we have 20.8. And it will start good for Gushi. 20.8. That's the best time. Mach 8 needs to beat it. If he beats it, he's moving up. If he does not beat it, well, he's not. Here we go. Building in the tiebreaker. We have a big lead by Gushi early on. Down to that third straight is looking good for the Mach 8, who's starting to accelerate. Now closing it to four lengths, maybe three out of the turn. Yes, three. Maybe even two into this final turn. And he will. Now two lengths ahead, four and five and six he has a good time cooking maybe turning around the outside and he starts to skid oh that's gonna hurt the time here comes gushi bouncing around and finding the outside line doesn't cross but the time is too little too long 21 8 a full second over and that's gonna kill the possibilities for the mach 8 gushi with the better time 20.86 is gonna be moving on so good tiebreaker and gushi congratulations you're in the final. But we got that Slanman Customs uh, starting gate and uh, timer at the end, which has been just wonderful, a new model from them. And so you get a look at it here and how it all works. And it is beautiful. And it is new. And it is more accurate. Four decimal places at the end of our timer. And so really just... Uh, a product worth buying if you are a Hot Wheels fanatic and if you want precision timing and just something that looks nice and adds to the whole feature of the track setup. You can go to their Facebook, Instagram, and their Etsy. That's where you're going to buy and speak to them and connect with them. I recommend it. Links are in the description if you are looking for them. And, uh, well, get your very own Races and Fun sponsored products today. SlamManCustomsAgain.com www. They have their own website. And again, their Facebook. I'm excited to see who we got racing today and what kind of vehicles we have to see. We know every model that's chosen with every uh, other possible character has different uh, strengths and weaknesses. So we're going to get a chance to look at that here in a moment and get racing. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how awesome Slamman Customs is, and that's what we're doing right here. A lot of products up there. You see uh, the track clamp, banked curves. I mean, they really got some good stuff there for racing.